Well, we've come along to New Forge today to catch up with Chris Farrell, who's down with the Ireland Under-20 side, uh, playing in the Six Nations Championship. Chris, uh, tell us a bit about your rugby career. When did it start uh, for you? Yeah, basically I, I started playing rugby whenever I was 11 at the uh, Clacker Valley Rugby Club. was my first establishment, to say. I uh, played in school a bit as well, at Feynman High School. And I played right through the age grade system at Clacker Valley. And uh, had a good time there and moved on from that now. The good thing about the high school system is that you can play both for the school and for the club. Yeah, you can play both for the school and club and in the school. We played in the high school's trophy tournament, which the final, we got to the final actually. In my year we went to Ravenhill against Dromore, not to be, we got hammered to be honest, but they were very strong at that level and we had a bit of work to do at that stage. Well, you went from the high school to, to Campbell College and that's where really your rugby career took off. Yeah, really, I just wanted to pitch myself against the highest level. I, I wasn't massively in. I was into it, but I wasn't fully focused on rugby at that time. I was just enjoying it, as I say, and uh, I moved on to Campbell College as a, just as a. I could have went to some of the local grammar schools and played in the high school or in the schools club, but I just decided to come up to Campbell and get a good run on it. And John McKinney must have been rubbing his hands when he saw you walk through <laughs> the door the size of you. I know. Mr. Robson as well is also very good with us, and McKinney, obviously, and then there's Garth Fry as well, worked with me. And, had some great people and some great coaches there. Uh, you weren't tempted to go into the pack, or he didn't, they weren't tempted to put you in the pack? I really? avoided that for long <laughs> enough, to be honest. <laughs> uh, Still getting those jokes. You're a massive centre, <laughs> height-wise, uh, very tall, very uh, long, striding centre. Um, that helps your game? Yeah, it can definitely help your game in other ways. In some ways, I've been working very hard on my defence and my agility, just to make sure I don't get caught up so with these long legs. You can definitely... You can, it can be a disadvantage in some areas. I've worked with Johnny Bell and I've worked with others here in the academy and David Drake as well to avoid those kind of situations. The Schools Cup uh, victory for you must have been very special. Yeah, to come up to Belfast and uh, play for Campbell in the final of the Schools Cup, it was, it was a brilliant occasion. And To be honest, I never grew up following the Schools Cup. I didn't really understand the whole thing, but to come up here and talk to John Crichton, talk to some of the Belfast boys who had been through it all their lives over the last seven years and... I saw most of some of them boys had dreamed of, it was a momentous occasion for them and for me as well, obviously. Moving then from the schools rugby uh, into the Ulster Rugby Academy, this is your first year in the academy, how are you getting on? Yeah, first year's went very well, actually it's probably went faster than I would have ever expected with some of the opportunities that have been given here in Ulster and within the academy especially. I've worked very hard in the, in the gym and uh, improving my strength and speed, my agility with David Drake and it's all gone so well so far. You're one of the very few who have made it in their first year to, to actually get the first senior cap. Yeah, and me and Peter Nelson, there's also a few others that went well so far. We worked pre-season with the seniors and under-20s and then got a wee bit of an opportunity and hopefully we took it at the first time anyway and went very well. The work in the academy is structured on your strength and conditioning at this stage. Uh, how do you think that's really developed you? Yeah, it works so closely. There's a lot of scientific research goes into uh, with David Drake and how many games you should be playing and stuff, and he limits your game time so that you're working solely in the gym. You're working like, in the first year is so important in senior rugby, to improving your strength, your speed, your power, and he works very individually. Everything's very specific for yourself and your own needs. So you see different people at totally different things, and so on and so well. Then you play club rugby with Dungannon. Um that's going well as well for you. You're, you're, you have a very uh, good backline. They're probably the best backline in the country. Yeah, yeah. Dungan is a great club, and whenever we get our full time out, we can be very dangerous. And unfortunately, my game's been limited there due to the academy schedule and stuff. And with David Drake managing our game nuts, but it's all going so well whenever we are there. We have a great backline. There's a lot of prospect in the backline coming through. And your call up to the Irish under twenties then has been a, another progression. Uh, how have you enjoyed being involved in that side of setup? Yeah, to be involved in any international level that was involved in under 18s, it's, it's brilliant. You have to focus yourself so hard on what you're doing. And We've had a very successful Six Nations so far. We've won three in the trot and we're going into a Scotland game in the next two weeks, which is also very important. And You never know, not looking too far ahead, we could maybe set something up against England in the last weekend, which would be brilliant. Talk us through what it's like in the camp. Uh, you go down on a, on a Monday, is it? Yeah, we go down on a Monday. It's trained down in Dublin on Monday and Tuesday at Lansdowne Rugby Club and stay on the Sunday night hotel. 
come back up to our provinces and train in the academy on the Wednesday and do some recovery. And then we have Thursday, Friday down in Athlone preparing for a game. Buccaneers RFC. Uh, how, how do you how do you find that sort of schedule? Is it tough on you? Yeah, it, it can be at times. Can, uh, the, there's definitely the travel down to Gallagher, which is quite good. So we're all from this area or living in this area at the moment. So there's five Ulster boys involved in that now, which is definitely a lot better than travelling down if there's only a few of us. And then coming up to the province on the Wednesday also helps. You like the wee break, you don't want to be down in Dublin or Athlone all week. The England game probably is going to be the, the benchmark game for you this year. Where is that going to be played? It's going to be played over in England at King's Home, which is, I think, as we've talked about, this Gloucester's ground. And we, it's, it is our benchmark game, although after, after following the Scotland game, it all goes well. Um, we played very well over in France, in France, beat them in Grenoble. Um, really, we performed nearly our peak, nearly our benchmark, and that's the game we have to, that's the kind of performance we have to strive for to beat England and Scotland in the next two games. You come home from the under 20s and it's back into the academy, a few games to the Ravens, and back to Dungallon then? Yeah, hopefully we get back into club rugby again as soon as we're finished with the Six Nations. Uh, I think actually the Ravens have two more games, I think they're playing Collins, but that might be during the Six Nations, I'm not so sure, but again, looking forward to back into club rugby. And I just wish you all the best for your future. You're, you're going to be a big star, and uh, thanks very much for taking the time out to talk to us today. Okay, thanks. Mm-hmm.